She's never gonna get it. Ah. Nope, I knew she'd get it. He's never gonna get it. Ooh. But that's not fair! No flying allowed! Heads up! <laughs> Take your own advice. Look! Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's a... Uh... An enormous meteorite! I'm sure of it! And it's headed straight for Grandma's garden! And how do you know that? It looks like an apple, it's the shape of an apple, and the size of an apple! So... So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden! And that's where the meteor's heading! Today! <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin! And a meteorite could... Oh! Grandma will be devastated if that happens! I say we won't let it! Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can! Uh... Does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do! To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot! <laughs> no, not a great plan. Uh -uh. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap! The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... That gives me an idea! Come on, let's go! I've got it! We need a racket! An enormous badminton racket! And then we'll catch the meteorite! Exactly! Look! Here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden, and then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. To the lake! Go, go, Turbozord! So, we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here! And the meteorite will never know the difference! A brilliant idea! Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything! Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. <laughs> a meteorite's not coming for the garden? Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. To the right, to 
to the left! Towards me! Towards me! Stop! Right there! <laughs> Here's our meteorite! <laughs> Why is there a truck out here in the middle of the woods? Maybe it's an ancient medieval relic or something. Trucks of the round table. Huh? Oh. Uh. huh? <sighs> it looks old. Maybe like dinosaur aged. Like Triassic times. Not like it would still work anyway. <laughs> now here's an awesome car. Not like that old thing. <laughs> Not a human. In my day, we walked uphill to school both ways, and you were lucky if you had shoes. Ah! Dinosaur! I saw a dinosaur! Katie! In the woods! Huh? Dinosaur! A huge dinosaur! That's not how you watch a baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. There's no dinosaurs around. They're extinct. You probably just saw... Uh, an old monster truck in the woods. But a dinosaur? Well, no way. Yes, a truck! But then it turned whoosh to a dinosaur! Uh-huh. Trucks turn into dinosaurs all the time. Yes, <laughs> right? <laughs> I first saw this giant truck, then poof, it was a dinosaur. But that's absurd. It <laughs> Ow! Scientists would have discovered it. <laughs> Ow! Cut it out, Florian. There just can't be dinosaurs hiding in the forest. <laughs> Ow! Grandma, a little help? It's such a beautiful day. Why not take a walk in the woods and bring him? Yeah, I'll show you it's for real. Well, when will we see it? Probably soon. Keep up. Yep, I'm sure. Hello? Dinosaurs? See, Peter? It's not true. It's just your imagination. I did see it, though. The dinosaur. It was here. <laughs> not even a truck, and no tire tracks. So there, it's not real. Oh no! <gasps> Lauren, wait! He's too young to swim. What do we do now? I can't swim either. Me three. Dinosaurs! <gasps> Listen up, team. Operation Rescue Baby initiate. Go, go, Turbozars! <laughs> It's not enough. Let me give something a try.
you so much! Still think it was just my imagination? <laughs> you all have some explaining to do. Where do we begin? So what brings you kids to the woods alone? You humans might get lost. We won't get lost here. You could say we practically live here. So we know it's safe. I know every rock and tree. We're on summer break. Our grandmother lives nearby. We're staying there. Our parents are working in the city. But they visit us on weekends. We should introduce ourselves. Well, my name is Katie. And these are my brothers. Peter. Florian, <laughs> do you all have names as well? Of course! First stop... Whoa! It truly did, you're right. We had a couple million years. But, uh, you're always in the woods or underground. Don't you get bored or lonely? There's a great, big, beautiful world left to see. Yeah, it does get kind of boring every now and then. And lonely. But we have a solution. Bull! In this form, we have more freedom to go where we please. So wonderful! Hang on. You're telling me this whole time, when we're downtown, and we see cars driving around the streets and stuff, it might have been you guys? That's oh, right. Mind-blowing! <laughs> Look alive, folks! A human's approaching! Understood. 
Until next time! <laughs> Mr. Charlie? Hello there, children. Seen any good mushrooms around here? Not here, Mr. Charlie. Have you? Nothing <laughs> interesting here. We were just on our way home. See you later, Mr. Charlie. Get home safely, you kids. This time last year, this place was teeming with fungi. And now, not a single one. What in tarnation? Some weird graffiti. Bush, we had three finger lame snort, and we find the big log. Should be it, right? Uh, whose finger length? Mine. One and a half of yours. <laughs> Sound good? Let's go. Go, go, Turbo Toys! Whoa, look, it's the island! That's awesome! Maybe 
did yesterday. Surprise! The treasure's somewhere on it. Yeah, let's go. Team, hi! Good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Charlie! Hello there, children! Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby! Here, boy! Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Don't talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from you about it. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly not junk. How many Seropolis do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> You're back from the vet already? Where's Toby? He's gone. Gone? Chased after a motorcycle, it slipped his leash. I looked for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! Oh, my God. 
finding the dog, unfortunately. I feel awful for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him, for sure. Must have fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Monkey, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Jones, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turn the doors, move out. Books won't tell ya. 